Cursor just released a new feature called Browser Visual Editor. The promise is big. You can drag UI components directly in the browser, change your layout visually, and let the model update the code to match what you see on screen. No guessing. No back and forth. I've been playing with this for several hours now, and the real question is simple. Does it actually deliver on that promise? Let's put it to the test. To open the browser, I couldn't find any dedicated button. The only way I found is either running your website locally or asking Cursor to open it from the chat. In my case, I'll run alldevneeds.com locally using this npm command. Once you run it, Cursor will ask permission to open the Cursor browser. Go ahead and allow it. And don't worry. At the end of this video, I'll show you exactly how to install or update Cursor to get this feature. This is the new browser visual editor. On the right, you can see the Cursor chat and I close the VS Code sidebar so you can see the editor in full screen. Now let's look at the options. The first one lets you select UI components, just like inspecting elements in a regular browser. For example, I'll pick this title. Once I do that, you can see the component is automatically added to the chat context. That means we can ask cursor questions specifically about this exact UI element. This is great because it removes the guesswork and makes sure the model understands which component we're talking about. Next, we have the option to capture an image. Let's capture the same title. The next button opens the Chrome DevTools. You can see the application tab, the network tab, everything you're used to. If you already develop with Chrome, this feels exactly the same, just inside cursor. But so far, this doesn't feel much better than the cursor browser tab that was released recently. Now comes the exciting part. The last button lets you modify components and see the results immediately. I'll pick this tool description and move it to the center. And it doesn't stop there. You can select a component and completely change the website layout. For example, let's say I want the website description to appear at the top like this. When you make a change, you can also revert it instantly, which is really useful. Once I'm happy, I just click apply. Cursor reviews the changes and applies them to the code. And that's it. All the changes I asked for are now done. If you're using React, Cursor even lets you modify component states and preview how they look. From a user experience perspective, this is great. You can preview changes before wasting tokens. However, once you start pushing the editor to do more complex layout changes, things start to break. By the way, I forgot to introduce myself. I help developers turn AI into real workflows, so sub and like, it really helps me provide more value for you. Let's take an example. I want to move the YouTube button all the way to the left. I select it and try to move it. But no matter how many times I try, it just refuses to land in the correct position. So if this feature isn't perfect, why do I still think this is the future of Cursor? Because Cursor is an AI coding agent that mostly relies on other providers' models, like OpenAI and Anthropic. If Cursor doesn't add real value at the IDE level, it loses its advantage. At that point, why not just use the providers directly, like Cloud Code or Codex? Features like the browser, visual editor, are Cursor's way of creating that extra layer of value. Even if it's not perfect yet, this direction makes a lot of sense. Now, as promised, let's talk about how to install it. To download Cursor, just go to the Cursor website and download the IDE for your computer. If you already have Cursor installed, open the Cursor menu and click Check for Updates. Once the update finishes, it will ask you to restart. And that's it! Browser Visual Editor is powerful, but only if Cursor is configured correctly. Watch this video to avoid the common setup mistakes. Until we meet again, build workflows, not chaos.